the shit that I experienced in the joint, I did not like at all. Because I went to DVI, I went to Soledad, I went to Quitting, I went to Folsom, to Atropy, and all I seen was nothing but chaos. Nothing but fucking killings. I mean, if you want to have somebody tell you what to do, go to prison. If you like that, young people, what they got you know, to look forward to. yeah, if you, this is for you young people. If you like people to tell you what to do, go to prison and you will get a whole lot of that shit. And if you want to be a gangster, go to prison and we'll see how much you are a gangster. If you want to get fucked in your ass, you know what I mean? Or you want to get killed, because you know what? Drugs will take you to the penitentiary and it ain't no fun in penitentiary. Penitentiary is nothing but death. If you like to gang bang, go to the penitentiary and you get a whole lot of gang banging. And if you think you're a gangster, just go to the penitentiary and see how bad you are. Because in the penitentiary, you ain't got no fucking gun. All you got is your fucking fist. And if you can get a knife, if you're in the hole, you ain't getting no knife with a fucking toothbrush. Because I just got out of shoe program. And the shoe program consists as a hole. And the whole ain't no joke. Corcoran State Penitentiary, they give you an ice cream scoop of food. They don't want to get you fat. They just want to keep you alive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh. Yeah, that's it, huh? And uh, you know what? It ain't no, no, ain't no more weights. Weights are gone. Weight, y'all stubble. Like so, you know what? Uh, push up now. Uh. That's all it is, is push ups. And push us in, man. Mary Palm and her four to, daughters. I to go to, I to go you know what I mean? Fix. And that's it. And uh, if you want to be an asshole bandit, get you a cell partner. Not unless he turn around and fuck you. You know what I mean? Because that's what it happened if you think you're a gangster. You know what I mean? I've seen plenty of guys that thought they were bad. And homeboy go in there and tell hey, home, I got to have, he says, I don't want that eye that winks. I want the one that stinks. <laughs> and that's your butthole, boy. <laughs> and the dude will take it if you half step. <laughs> and what I mean by half stepping, if you can't sling these dogs, you just might as well sit in your cell and keep your fucking mouth shut because you will get your asshole taken. You know what I mean? And prison life is no joke. Being out here is going on. I mean, I mean, look, we could walk to the store anytime. I mean, you could get paid, you could get a good job, you know, you could get paid, do whatever you want, take your girlfriend, you got a girlfriend, take your girlfriend somewhere, go. I mean, I mean, out here is everything, in there is nothing. A lot of homeboys out here, man, a lot of youngsters, and all different values, they think that walking that walk is something big, talking that talk is something big, you know what, can't wait to hit the pintas, can't wait to, you know, they go to juvenile hall, go to camp because they want to be known. A lot of youngsters want to be known. They want to be known as, I'm tough, I'm, I'm here. But you know what? I got news for them, man. It is not all that. I walk that walk. I walk that, that, that heavy life, man. I, I live the rugged life. Ourselves, ourselves, we walk that walk. So we want to we wanna help out the gente. We want to help out Rasa. So these youngsters right now, man, they could grow up listening to this tape, listening to us and say, you know what? I want to become somebody. I want to become somebody where I can help out the community. I can help out a homeboy. You know, I got I got news for you, man. If you don't want to be that way, if you don't want to have a, a, a right mind in your head, if you don't want to do something better for yourself, but you know what? Then follow that homeboy. Follow that homeboy that was that was in prison. Or follow my footsteps, and you'll be in prison. You'll be there. You walk the same footsteps I walked in, man. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I had a I had a I had a struggle to survive, man. You know, I tell my wife sometimes I have to struggle to keep my dreams alive, and I had to struggle to this day. I think I will always struggle. You know, but that's the way life is. We struggle to, th to do things that we want. A homeboy right now, I see youngsters right now, they can't even breathe. They can't walk to the tent up by themselves, buy a little beer, man, or buy a six beer and go watch a, a game because they get jacked up. I mean, they, I mean, cops don't let us breathe, man. Don't let us breathe. Myself, man, if I'm walking to a tent and don't see me, they probably won't even stop me. You know, then it's because they'll say, well, because they, they know that I have my kids in my van. They know that I'm doing good. They say, okay, yeah. But if they if they see if they see me walking with another homeboy like that or, or three four homeboys coming out of dinner with a six pack, they'll stop me quick. Uh. What are you doing? 
oh, I can't enjoy myself. I can't, I can't watch a game with my own boys, drink a beer with them. I can't do that. I mean, officers, when they get out of work, man, they go to their, their little nightclubs, all police officers all night, and they drink their beer. I mean, that's the way you see it. I mean, you know, you, we're always getting downgraded, man. And it's time that we spoke up. It's time that we speak up and let, let exactly know what's going on. Yeah. How it really is. We're, I mean, back, we have we're, a lot back, of we're back to stereotyping. You know, you know? We, we do have a lot of pride. We don't like, like to you know, I can walk down the streets today and get pulled over by LAPD, and they'll jump out of the car and say, when did you get out? You know, when did you get out of prison? And I've been out of prison since five years ago. You know?